hello guys and welcome to the channel today i want to take you on how i mixed an afrobeat uh this afrobeat actually made the beat so they recorded somewhere far away and uh they sent me the raw vocals that's the stems for mixing so um this is uh our beat this is our song but before we go into this video don't forget to like and subscribe as i'll be dropping more videos very simple videos uh, in very simple ways to actually mix without much uh, uh heavy grammar big languages and uh, you know all the music arithmetics that confuses you so let's go into this video right away so this is our raw vocal with the beat this is okay so let's uh let me just uh take away uh the mixing i did just to actually show you how it sounds. Like I smoke anna, make me like it agbana. Every day na na kwana, give me make I na come na. Kana, 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 kana. Me like I smoke anna, make me like it agbana. Every day na na kwana. So this is how it actually sounds. So the first thing I did was to actually start with my main uh, vocal, and with it, this is what I did. I started with the auto tune, as you can see, I humanized it to around fifty percent, and then I set uh, my return speed to around three, and that's all, because I already knew uh, the tempo. Oh, sorry, uh, the the key. So I came and I used a uh, Arvox Mono, and this is what I did with my Arvox. As you can see, minus uh, a negative uh, eight point seven dB, and then uh, with the gate was around sixty. Uh, but uh, uh, actually came in. So uh, I decided to start with um, after the Arvox. I used the Arvox for you know compressing and giving some resonance, giving some strength and energy to the vocal. Uh, okay, so the next thing I did was to use a subtract subtractive EQ, and I used uh, even though I used with the subtractive EQ, I did some plus a bit of the plusing in the subtractive EQ. So firstly, I use uh, a preset, and then I used Fab Filter EQ Pro EQ, uh, and then I used uh, a preset, and then I used uh, vocal from the presets. So what I did was just to reduce uh, a bit of um, you know the the the, the the low end and then uh the mid frequency those were the uh those were the frequencies that were uh, a bit trying to disrupt me those were the frequencies that are a bit harsh from the vocal so like i smoke banana make me like it that uh vocal is beginning to take shape that's the main vocal like i smoke banana is beginning to take shape so uh the next thing i did was to actually use a dsr and then i used the r DSR from Waves, and this is what I did with the RDSR. Immediately I plugged it, I I, I switched on to the uh, RDSR. I just take uh, this uh, a bit to around negative uh, uh, forty eight, and that was the end. I left it like that, uh, and it like gave me this. Banana. Make me like it, dark banana. Every day, nana. Okay, so the next thing I did was to you know actually instead of using uh, another. Um, eq to actually raise some frequencies i just decided to use fresh air from slate digital and then i used i raised the air to around 12 percent and then uh, uh i raised the mid air to around 18 percent so that was just what i did so i came in and i decided to load my mix rack just because i wanted to use one plugin one tool from my mix rack i used uh the revival and uh, the shima i used it to around 20 uh, percent and the thickness to around 17.5 percent and that was all so the next thing i did was to so if i play it without uh the visual mix rock, like I smoke banana. it's just a bit regular like so to give it no punch every day nana kwana. i increased uh i just you know i just had to hold um the low end and then uh the high end using uh the the shima using the shima and the thickness so the next thing i did was to actually come and use uh i loaded l3 the multi-band compressor that lt multi stereo compressor from waves from waves and then i 
loaded in different ways and the only thing i did was just to take a bit of these uh frequencies that's somewhere around the mid range so me like i smoke banana make me like it dark banana every day nana kwana give me me kaina kamna because i noticed the vocal was having a bit of um uh uh, uh let's say uh untreated room so i just had to you know take uh some of the uh, mid frequencies just to give it uh the that feel of the treated uh, of bit of a bit of the treated room so the next thing i did was to use a compressor and then i loaded the cla76 i know this is kind of weird to a lot of people that are after mixing with much things and then i loaded a compressor uh yes i actually just did that to you know hold a bit of you know some of the stuffs i did because it was going off of uh it was just going a bit off so i just uh, used my output as you can see negative 13.3 and then i yeah my input was around 30 my attack was in the middle my release was around uh 4.7 and then uh the ratio was just four and then i left the other things i didn't touch much of it and uh this was what it gave me let me play like guys smoke man with it make me like it dark man it boost it boosted a lot of stuff for me so the next thing i did was to use the n1 the ns1 from stereo uh, from our uh, waves to actually remove the background noise i was having like i smoke banana make me like it dark banana every yeah. day nana kwana give me me kaina kamna as you can hear it has removed a lot of background noise and uh, some of the uh, noise on the clip a uh, high end uh, on the edge of the high end too that's actually uh did load as you can see i raised it to around 60 negative 60 so uh because of the the kind of mic that was used to actually record the song it's a it's a uh, it's a scarlet studio mic uh the cm uh 25 i think is the m3 yeah is the m3 so uh it's that mic in particular has more of that low end so uh there were some sounds there were some plosive sounds and uh some parts um the low uh frequency was a bit getting uh too disturbing so i had to use the rx deplosive yes the rx deplosive from uh, uh from ozone and i just loaded immediately i loaded once you load uh the rx deplosive it comes with a preset already it's already set so i felt the preset was perfect for me and then i left it and this is how in that guys move banana make me like it dark banana my main mix sound so i came uh to, because of the uh the 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 ad lib the ad lib was just one that's the backup this was how it sounded so i used uh i i just used the same setting from uh my auto tune i used the mix rag and from the mix rag as you can see the setting uh from my mix rag i just uh okay i didn't i i actually started with um the the airbox i did much of the compression because i needed the backup to be straight over straight to sound a bit compressed too and then these were the settings i did so i came in and i decided uh to use my fruity parametric equalizer and then i used uh, a preset i used the radio preset just to get the radio effect and then i used let's forget about this first i came in i used uh, my visual mix rag and then i used it on exciting vocals i used uh, a preset called exciting vocals so this is how it sounds with the mix rag uh, yeah so as you can hear it's perfect now but one thing i decided to use because i decided to do because uh the vocal will be the the backup might be not be too clear I might be clashing with the main vocal. If you listen, you can't actually listen to the main, uh, to the backup very well. So I decided to use the Fruity Panometric. Uh, it's a very nice tool for panning. So what I did was just, uh, to just come immediately, I loaded, I clicked on pan. Uh, I raised the speed to about 60% and then the amount uh, to 100%. So when you raise the speed to about 60%, it's actually more of um let's say uh 60 percent is more of a uh four second per beat per minute is it i think it's four second per beat so as you can see it's going that four if you count this one two and one two is four 
seconds. So this is how it sounded. Like I smoke banana, make me like it dark banana. Every day na na kwana, give me make I na kana, kana, kana. As you can hear, it's trying to pan to the left and right to allow the main vocal shine. So the next thing I did was to actually route uh, my main vocal to a channel and I insert the fruity reverb too. And then I just loaded uh, a preset, a large hole. I didn't touch anything there. All I did was just to reduce uh, the, uh, the scent. And then I came here too. I loaded for the backup. That's the ad lib. And I, I didn't touch anything, you know. And then I added uh, the fruity uh, delay too again and what i did on the delay was just to put the time to about four four seconds per minute per bar uh, okay i think it's just let us say four four point zero zero that's what i did and then i reduced the volume from the feedback uh and then that was all so what i did from here was just to reduce uh the insert to around that's the send to around uh 42 percent and then for this for the backup on the reverb on the delay was around 97% and this is how everything sounded. Let's see. Like I smoke banana. Make me like it dark banana. Every day nana kwana. Give me make I na kana. 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 This is good and with the beat it goes like this. Like I smoke banana. Make me like it dark banana. Every day nana kwana. Give me make I na kana. 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 So this is it and this is how I mixed the vocal. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be giving out uh more tips and more tutorials. Thank you. Give me make I na come na.